bad blood. You saw what happened earlier. Oh, yeah. Get ready. Here we go. All hail the black hand. And remember, nobody is holding the U.S. title. So one of these men will become the new champion. And here comes the fan favorite core making his way down to the ring. The former heavyweight title here at ACPW. I'll tell you, he really wants this U.S. title really, really bad because he knows that is a stepping stone to be taken seriously for the heavyweight championship. But his opponent, his, his opponent's no slouch either. And if we could see one stable here fully loaded with two titles. See, the whole thing with fully loaded is that they're cheap shot artists. That's why I don't like. They did it at the beginning of the match. They, you see what TJ Reno does. You see what Zach does. I, I, I don't like that type of stuff. Beat a man straight up. You can. That I mean, what a what a a U.S. champion and a Revolution champion rolling together. Gold collectors. That's what they call that. Here comes the new face of old school. The one, the only TJ Reno. This is going to be one hell of a match right here, ladies and gentlemen. Regardless of how I feel about their tactics, DJ Reno is a hell of a talent. We all know what Core can do. We should be in for one wonderful treat here for the U.S. Championship, the vacant U.S. Championship. Someone is going home with gold that didn't have it three hours ago. And I tell you what, TJ is a great manipulator of time. He will slow the pace of this match down to a crawl if Core gets any momentum. But here's the dangerous thing. TJ can speed it up too and end it in a hurry. And I will say, Zach walking around with gold and TJ walking around with gold would establish fully loaded as probably the next dangerous faction here at ACPW. Now here's the thing, I will give him this. TJ is a top-notch competitor. But Core is the soul of ACPW. That man is the fan favorite, the number one guy that everybody loves. And he's been with ACPW for a very long time. Rising star against established star. We want to see what happens here. We all know the long relationship between senior referee Paul and TJ Reno as well too. <laughs> it always seems like it takes Paul about 10 minutes to check TJ Reno. And there we go. This oh, oh my corn wasted no time. Come right out. Oh my goodness. TJ did not have a moment to even show both just a little bit. He was not ready for that. It, oh, oh big what boots a move on Corn and a cover. We almost had a new U.S. champion that quick. And TJ gonna do what TJ does, take a breath. But Core, I don't think he's gonna let him. There is no timeouts in wrestling no here. No way. Oh! 
Ooh, TJ trying to. TJ trying not to get punched in the face like he just did. Look at that. And Core, no, <laughs> Core knows not to get counted out. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, last summer, Core did have an issue with that, and he's always been smart on that since then. And oh, TJ just taking a beating out here. And I don't think TJ was ready for that quick start. Not at all. TJ always wanted to dictate the pace. And Core is about had enough of TJ Reno. That's the issue. Core's asking for a volunteer. Oh, a volunteer. Wait a second. What, oh what no, what is happening here? Hold on. And oh, oh. oh, he's giving TJ a rest. How nice. Yeah, oh. look at that. Setting TJ right Reno up outside of the ring on a chair. The ash is hot and heavy. Wait a second. And Core breaks the count again. <laughs> what is he doing? Uh, he's got a fan helping him out here. What is he? No. Oh, he's going to launch no. TJ. Oh! oh! What a drop kick for a TJ. A fan assisted drop kick. Core just right into the chest of TJ Reno, and the crowd loves it. And I think yeah, I think Core might have hurt his hand there. TJ Reno is down outside of the ring here. Now remember, Core was attacked earlier at the start of this production, and he, I don't think he's forgotten it, and I think that's why he's come out so hard against TJ Reno. TJ Reno has had no offense in this match at all. It has been all Core the whole time. Off the ropes, drops down, jump up, and a oh! big drop right kick to the Kor. kisser. Oh, and, oh. What, what this is, is this? Poor almost doing an inverted bridge with a little bit of a choke there, trying to choke TJ. TJ needs to get some offense going here, surely. Oh, look at Oh! Ooh, what a chop! TJ's not going to have a chest after this. I agree. Great. I agree. I don't. Oh, here we go again. Oh, oh. TJ drops all the way down on that one. Oh my goodness. Oh, here we go, taking him up. Oh, uh, an oldie but a goodie right there, ladies and gentlemen. TJ Reno does not even know where he's at right now after this offensive explosion from Core. I don't care, old school, new school. And oh, oh. TJ using the breath, and oh. that gets a cheap shot in. And oh! oh come on! Oh. Going for the cover. One, two. And kick out. Kick out by Core. And again. One, two, and another kick out. Let's see if he goes for a third time. Classic TJ here with the multiple covers in a row. It takes a lot of energy for someone to kick out of those multiple times. TJ working that back. There you go. The back that he injured illegally, mind you, at the start of back to business. But I don't think Core's in too much trouble. I mean, he had a fast oh, start. Big it's, shoulder in the back. This is the dangerous thing about TJ. We know he could whip the switch on you. I that agree. Quick. Suplex by TJ Reno. One, two, and there's the oh. kick out. The crowd letting them know exactly what they think of TJ Reno. And here we go. Look how much this pace has slowed down. Jumps over. Oh, building up some momentum. Oh, the disrespect from TJ Reno. Oh, going up to the second rope. <laughs> well, if no one's going to give you applause, you might as well give it to yourself. I know. Sometimes you got to be your own best friend. We all know TJ really doesn't have too many friends beyond Zach. Oh, and a punch to the gut. Oh. And another one from Core. And here comes Core. Oh, misses the, misses the clothesline. Oh. oh, big knee to the chin there. Off the ropes. Oh, oh, right to the back. Working that back of core. There's a cover one, two, and a kick out. 
TJ going right back to that back. Again. Brown trying to pump core up. Core speeding off, but he's working his way up. Here we go. Off the ropes. Okay. Oh, it caught! I'll give it to TJ. Oh, Mano. there's a cover. Three maneuver. One, two. I thought that was it. TJ caught him midair and turned it into a power slam. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's taking off his uh, elbow pads, which means it must be. Oh, still working that lower back of court. Oh, it's TJ returning the favor. Little payback from earlier. Oh. So just to open shot. Oh, just oh, a quick little jab to the chin there by TJ Reno. I think we can officially say the former heavyweight champion to trouble. Oh. Stretching him out in the middle of the ring there. The core has to find a way to get to a rope or break this hold or something because that back is not going to give up. Oh, a shot to the face there. Again, notice how TJ has just slowed down this. And again, taking a... Oh, come on. Come on, there goes Zach with the cheap shots again. Tell you what, fully loaded is full of something. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of seeing this type of stuff out of TJ Reno. What stuff? Oh, you know what it is. The guy's good. I give him that. But the cheap shots. They didn't do anything wrong. If you don't, if you if you don't see it and you don't get caught, it's not cheating. Speaking one, two, and there's the kick out for four. If the ref doesn't want to pay attention to what's going on, why is that TJ's fault? Because TJ had his arm around him. You saw what I explained it to you. They're Barb. good friends. I wonder why people call you Ryan. Oh, and a nice punch. Don't call me Ryan. I hate that. And here we go back and forth. See if... oh. Old school uppercut. Another old school uppercut. Oh, and, and here comes. Oh! oh! Wait a second. Oh! oh! What a powerful clothesline for four. I don't know if he has anything left. A huge super kick from core or from TJ with a giant clothesline. And listen to the crowd. This is awesome. Someone needs to get to their feet. What if there's a disqualification? Is the U.S. title still stay vacant? Still vacant. If nobody wins it, it's still vacant. Looks like core's getting, oh, we're at six, but it looks like both men are making it to their feet. Of course, Zach is helping him off. Core right in the other corner. Both men look spent. Oh, oh and a big boot from Core. Let's see what Core has left here. Oh, here we go. Slingshot in the corner. Oh, oh! On the top of the post. Oh, TJ hit goodness. his face on the top of the post there. Core whips him into the corner there. Up and over. Oh, wait oh. a second. Oh! Are we going to see shades of the great one, Ric Flair? But I thought it was not having it. Oh, has him in the middle. Middle ropes here. Oh! oh. oh. Almost That's like a spring here. pile driver. One, two. Oh! trying to set himself up here. It was like a spring rope pile driver from Core there. Look at Zach hooks up Reno, just the same way that Reno was doing for Zach earlier tonight. Two minutes. Oh, oh he goes. Just picks him up oh, on his shoulders here. Oh! 
Just fighting each other, even on the ground. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my TJ goodness. Reno brings Cordo to his feet, throws him in the corner here. Cord goes up and over. Oh, TJ oh, catches him! Oh! Big power bomb by TJ on the reversal. What a move. Oh, TJ going up. Oh. Oh. To the sky. Oh! Swat time on the back of Cord. Mr. Cord. We have a new champion! Wow! Bravo to gold men. And fully loaded. He's now full of gold. Here in ACP. What a match. This is a dangerous team. Zach with the Revolution title. Now TJ Reno, the new U.S. champion. You gotta give credit to credit is due. What a hell of a match by Core. What a hell of a match by TJ. Wow, these two guys finished all out there. It's gonna be hard to get that goal off of TJ Reno's waist. Let's not forget, Revolution title holders that in the corner. Both of these guys, the way that they work together, they might be holding on to this goal for a while. TJ and Zach works for the crowd. I mean, they've they earned it tonight. They've they earned it tonight. They're just joining us. Zach won the belt after TJ got sent to the locker room. And TJ just, just a hell of a match against Morris. 